Cleaning robots are becoming one of the most popular new home appliances, a trusted little cleaning partner in many households. Unlike the traditional vacuum cleaner, this robot is able to clean your room by navigating across the floor and avoiding obstacles. It also charges itself, all without using human help. How cool is that? Let's design an intelligent cleaning robot by stepping into the shoes of a robot developer. The basic component required to collect the debris is this vacuum pump, similar to your normal vacuum cleaner. These two tractor wheels, along with a tiny caster wheel, help the machine move. As the opening length of this vacuum pump is smaller than the diameter of the machine, an additional set of side brushes and a roller brush is needed to clean efficiently. These together easily direct the debris it comes across to the suction opening, effectively cleaning a bigger area. These two side brushes are especially helpful when this machine is cleaning a corner. This arrangement becomes more efficient when we attach a clever mopping attachment. The mechanism controls the pressure inside this water chamber and controls the water flow via the cotton plugs inside. This mopping arrangement is capable of removing tough stains from the floor, while the mechanism simultaneously collects the debris. Two in one! Now, this battery-powered mechanism is ready to start cleaning the room. But this cleaning machine is stuck here. We need it to be able to detect the chair and change its trajectory. Let's add intelligence to this machine and convert it to a robot through a few stages. To solve this issue, let's attach these optical limit switches to the front hemisphere of this robot. Now, every time the robot hits an object, with the help of this bumper cover, the limit switch gets operated and generates an electronic signal. To process this signal, a smart controller, the brain of the robot, comes to the rescue. This smart controller now takes over the individual speed control of the wheels. The motor-controlled wheels turn in opposite directions. This allows the robot to take a turn. Obviously, the robot's random path doesn't efficiently cover the entire room. It consumes more time and power. The most efficient path is shown here. And to follow this path properly, our robot needs to take proper right-angle turns. It also has to travel a small distance to avoid overlapping. The robot developer in you might have a clear solution. Add a gyroscope sensor and wheel encoders to the robot. Now, when the robot bumps into this wall, the gyroscope sensor will help it to take the angular turns accurately. And to cover the proper distance, the wheel encoder will come into play by counting the wheel's rotation. Now, although these sensors are enough to clean this room, the chair is still a problem. As the robot is unable to differentiate between a chair and a wall, and is programmed to take a turn after hitting a wall, our robot will turn and leave this area uncleaned. To increase its intelligence, let's add a LiDAR sensor. This advanced sensor continuously emits lasers. With the help of the return pulse, the bot measures the distance between the robot and the objects surrounding while rotating. It creates a 2D map of your room, and using a smart algorithm, this robot can decide to follow the efficient cleaning path quite easily. So this robot can now differentiate between the wall and chair. We can also integrate a handy mobile application for setting up go and no-go zones on the floor, cleaning schedule, specific area cleaning, as well as many more features. Let's see what happens if the robot tries to climb over this raised floor platform or door ramp. You can see that it has no problem climbing up to 2 centimeters high. But if we increase the height further, it is unable to do the same. So, 2 centimeters is the maximum height the robot can climb. Now, another challenging situation for the robot. Oh, this staircase situation cannot be detected even by our two-dimensional LiDAR sensor and could quickly cause a sad end to its service. To avoid this situation, we need to place three optical proximity sensors at the edge of the robot. 
This sensor has an IR light emitter and a photo detector. The generated light from the LED gets reflected back from the surface and is received by this detector. When the bot is in danger of falling down, the smart controller measures the distance of this reflected light and immediately stops to change the robot's direction by controlling the motors. Hooray! Our robot is saved! Still, you can see our robot is having trouble detecting this electric wire. This issue isn't discovered by the LiDAR sensor because it is a 2D detector. Because of this, it can also fail to recognize objects like clothes, toys, pet waste, etc. Let's attach a camera along with an inbuilt 3D depth sensor in front of the robot. It maps its front region in 3D and avoids this obstacle. So, this sensor is efficient in detecting the obstacles precisely, but cannot map the entire room. Introducing the sensor fusion technique, using both the LiDAR and camera system together and combining their data to get more accurate cleaning paths. Now, when the robot needs to juice up itself, you don't have to plug the charger into it. Instead, it will automatically retrace its steps back to its starting point at the charging dock and start recharging the battery. The hassle-free cleaning starts now. Some drawbacks of this little robot cleaner are listed here. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Do remember to join Team Lessix. Thank you.